Lily Allen was recently on the Radio Times podcast to share what led to her stepping away from the spotlight. Take a look. Never really had a strategy when it comes to career. Uh, but yes, my children ruined my career. <laughs> It really annoys me when people say you can have it all because, quite frankly, you can't. You and, can't. you know, some people choose their career over their children, and that's their prerogative. But, you know, my parents were quite absent when I was a kid, and I feel like that really left some, like, nasty scars that I'm not willing to, you know, to repeat it's online. Really and so I chose stepping back and concentrating on them, and I'm glad that I've done that. Hmm. So, do you agree with her, the parents? Need to make a choice, or do plenty of people find a way to make it work? I, I, I really think that um, you do have to prioritize certain things. Like you can't have everything all at the same time. You can have it at different times. Mm -hmm. And my mother actually sacrificed her career for the first five years of my life and, and stayed at home with me. And I remember that. And um, I stayed at home with Gabriel for the first year and a half, two years. And um, I stayed home for about six months with Paloma because at that point we couldn't afford for me to not work. Uh -huh. um, and I have turned down, I was offered my own show, but it was in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And so I turned that down. Uh -huh. so I, my career has suffered, I think, but I don't think my children have. Yeah. And that, that was the decision. Those are the decisions that I made. Relate to the, the the life of a pop star, or what that means for her career. So I'm not addressing her directly, but I do think women can have it all at different times. Yeah. So what I would say is, my mom, both of my parents had to work. We couldn't afford not to. So I grew up in a home where my mom balanced all of it, you know, where we were, she was home in and out, but we kind of were with each other and that built a strong family. For me, I'm not good at home. And by that, I mean, I find that job so much harder around the clock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For me, it, it, it messes with me mentally. And so it doesn't mean that everyone always has that choice from mm -hmm. financial imperative to mental health to other things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to do both. Mm -hmm. I think the problem here is if you want to take a break and have all those years at home, that could hurt it's a career hurt. but yeah. for me it, it was just maternity leave which mm -hmm. you you just come right back in and you do find ways to balance and as sunny said you have to choose your moments because you're yeah. not going to be able to you always prioritize the family it's the north star of everything yeah but you can i don't think that means you have to ruin a career to have a child well my husband and i talk about this a lot because we're thinking about starting a family soon and we've he said say yes to everything now because we're both of us kind of have two jobs we're not going to be able to say yes to everything we're asked to do right. mm -hmm. like that recognition recognition and kind of expectation setting but i think there's it there used to be this this adage where it's like you can be thriving at work in a relationship and in your friendships choose two but not all three that's what happens mm. is like something may suffer a little it doesn't mean that it's going downhill you just have to prioritize Lily Alemwi is a singer was being spotted in an interview and she said that children destroy and like they destroy her career. So actually she went and said that you cannot do both together. You either do one and the other one suffer. So she decided that she because in her childhood she didn't have the expense of her parents. She suffered that. So she didn't want her children to pass what they passed through. To suffer like what she passed through. Do you actually believe that? So the women in the view all have their own conceptions to talk about that, their own different story. According to Sony, she had to give her life, her career for her children because she had opportunity to start her own talk show. But she could not do that because she just started having kids. And their first child, she had to stay five years, and the other one, she had to stay two years. One six months because they could not afford her staying home at that time. Actually, um, most women have given up their somebody like seriously. She could not stay home not because she don't want to stay, because she was not used to her mental health to be affected. She was not bailed away to see that home and just particularly for the kid, which some people are bailed away. According to Whoopi, Whoopi say she could not let her career go for her child. She had to carry the child along with the career. So whenever she had a program, she would put the child in the car and both of them would drove together. Actually, they would all went together to it. Most of the times, they talk about, um, Jebea talk about her mother who sacrificed for the dad, for that. So most of the times, most women in society are actually will give up their career because actually they were brought down with that. You have to give up 
your 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 career for your children because actually those children need that attention especially at that younger age and no one could do it like you more perfect than you you cannot trust your kids in the hands of other people that's what people believe and then it has been proven medically it has been proven scientifically it has been proven religiously that the first six years of a child will be built 60 percent of that child's life is being built and after six years the next year will just build like 40 percent so the first six years is very important whatever that child grab whatever that child have in in, in him so it has been proven that that first six years you have to mold that child very well and give that child all your birth because that will make that child to become the man or woman that they will become at the a rest of their life so but instead most people don't really know about that most people will ignore their babies at that age sometimes you may take it to a, um, be, um to a daycare you might be unfortunately maybe some people because some people do that for job that child will not receive all the attention you see that most people have been molested it has been proven that it is at that tender age at zero to six years that is when someone have molested they have everybody who passed through most of the population who have passed through um that someone molest them it has been proven that it's at that tender age because maybe it just happened with someone in the house it could be the they say the enemy within the farm the father the brother or someone but most of the times sometimes it has been proven that maybe the mother was not very paying that attention maybe she was abusing working nowadays a lot of single mothers they could not become homeless because the mom have to work so what will you expect the mother to do mother with eight children without a job so all they do is to allow that baby and run to the job site so who suffer if the baby suffered it but most people at times have that choice to do that i will slow in my career allow my husband to go ahead and focus on this kid so by the modern days women now have come out and say no my career cannot suffer i will go along my career with my children so it's some of our different so um they were trying to put this question ask outside and ask other people's own opinion what do you really think if you're a woman will you prefer your career than your children if you're a man will you prefer your children um your wife to stay at home why you take care of the bills at that tender age what actually do you think about it and what is your experience that you have with your own kid let me see your own response on the comment section thank you very much for watching if you have not subscribed please help subscribe and help share the video god bless you